Welcome to Second Recap. Today I will recap the 2013 drama, thriller movie, 3096 Stage. The movie begins in March 1998, 10-year-old Natasha is at a bar with her father, Ludwig, who is drinking and celebrating. He's meant to return Natasha home by a certain time, but decides to stay longer and continue drinking. In the morning, Brigitta, Natasha's mom, wakes her up and makes her go to school. Natasha tries to cover for her father and lie that they weren't at a bar, but Brigitta sees through her lies and regretfully slaps her, which prompts Natasha to walk to school alone. On her way, she is dragged into a van by a man. The kidnapping is also witnessed by another little girl. Natasha gets put in a cellar that is well hidden underneath multiple layers of her captor's house. Her captor is a 35-year-old technician, Wolfgang Preklopil. Natasha observes her new environment. With solid walls all around her and only one small fan blowing air inside the tiny room and way out of reach. Three days pass and Wolfgang decides to go down to the cellar to read out a bedtime story for Natasha. As Wolfgang finishes the story, he starts walking away with Natasha, asking him different questions with no answers. He stops when the frightened Natasha asks for a goodnight kiss from Wolfgang, as her mother always did. He goes and kisses her goodnight before leaving. Over a week passes as Brigitta and Natasha's grandmother watch the news of the massive search for Natasha. Despite Wolfgang being erratic, odd, and tyrannical with Natasha in public, Wolfgang is socially awkward and very lonely, with his only contact being his mother, who occasionally comes to visit and bring meals to him. They both sit and watch the news report for Natasha, unbeknown to his mother that the abductor is her son. Natasha gives Wolfgang a letter she wrote to her parents so that they don't have to worry. He tells her that her parents don't care about her since they are not paying her ransom, which prompts Natasha to start crying, making Wolfgang lose his temper. Witness descriptions of the van lead police to interrogate Wolfgang, but unfortunately, they do not find anything suspicious. After 183 days, Natasha started drawing things on the wall, creating scenarios and other things to keep herself busy in the tiny room. She dresses chairs with her clothing and role plays different scenarios. She tries to put a toothbrush and peel off some of her skin to make Wolfgang bring her to a doctor. But he sees through her deception and decides to antagonize Natasha by showing her the exit, only to bring her back to her room. He then takes away her dinner plate to teach her a lesson and starve her for the next few days. For the next four years, Natasha is forbidden from leaving the cellar. Malnourishment, boredom, despair, and Wolfgang's incessant psychological manipulation bring her down giving up any intentions of escaping. Only when Natasha begins menstruating is she allowed to leave the cellar for the first time and shower, however, Wolfgang scares her off by telling her he has rigged everything with explosives, and if she tries to run away, she will die. He brings her to the shower and watches as she undresses and cleans herself. When Wolfgang's mother visits one day, she is pleasantly surprised to find a girl's hair on his sweater. Enraged and embarrassed, he shaves Natasha's hair off to avoid raising further suspicion. On Christmas Day of 2003, 1837 days after her captivity, she celebrates Christmas in her tiny room with Wolfgang, who films her reaction to the presents he has prepared for her, a Walkman and three books. While both seem cheerful and happy, Natasha decides to ask how her family is since it's Christmas, but Wolfgang reminds her she doesn't have a family anymore, angrily tells her that he is her only family now. Natasha is then renamed Bybee by, by Wolfgang, who also reveals his name for the first time to her. Meanwhile, Natasha's mother is still guilt-ridden for having allowed Natasha to walk to school alone. She never moved on and accepted her daughter's disappearance. Wolfgang begins building a new bedroom and forces Natasha to do heavy work, half-naked, despite her physical condition. She asks why he needs so much room and if his girlfriend is moving in, which enrages Wolfgang, nearly striking her down. He allows Natasha to sleep with him in his bed by handcuffing her wrist to his own. Wolfgang tries to have social interactions and goes to a club where he dances with a girl, but his weird behavior quickly forces him to leave. When he returns home, Natasha's abuse also becomes sexual, with Wolfgang forcing himself on her when they sleep together. On day 2029, Wolfgang's abuse is not slowing down, as he forces Natasha to cook, serve him half-naked, and hits her for every tiny mistake she does. He then fills his plate with food while giving her nothing. She goes to grab some of the food from his plate, but gets hit and forced to spit it out. Despite Natasha's obedience, her mistreatment intensifies. At one point she panics when Wolfgang pranks her to be left to die in a pit. When he finally lets her go, she punches him on the face, enraging him further. After some time, Natasha is let out of the house for the first time with Wolfgang warning her that he has a gun and he will kill anyone, including her, if she disobeys him. He takes her to a crowded hardware store to buy things for their bedroom. When Wolfgang disappears for a moment, leaving Natasha all alone, she sees the storekeepers nearby, but hesitates to contact anyone, as her fear and years of abuse don't allow her to seek help, which she immediately regrets not doing when she is returned back to her room. On day 2175, Wolfgang films Natasha 
doing all the hard work to redecorate the bedroom. He calls his mother to show off all the work around the house that Natasha did. When Wolfgang brings her to the new bedroom that night for their wedding night, he reminds her that she belongs to him. He explains that he did not pick Natasha at random, but rather became fascinated with her at a store and spent the following year building the cellar and planning her kidnapping. He then proceeds to force himself on her. Through a radio report, Natasha learns that it has been over six years since her kidnapping and gathers courage to escape. As such, on day 2847, she looks forward to Wolfgang's plans to go skiing. When he brings her to the resort, due to her weak knees, she has constant trouble skiing. Wolfgang constantly monitors her, and her only chance is to go to the bathroom. But to Natasha's horror, the only woman there is foreign and cannot understand her. Wolfgang notices this and proceeds to beat her up severely when they arrive at home. Natasha tries to end her life by lighting a fire in her cellar, but she cannot follow through. Noticing the smell, Wolfgang realizes what she tried to do and beats her up again, saying she is not allowed to die. She tells him that only one of them can stay alive. Fed up, she begins to write down every instance of mistreatment on toilet paper and keep them hidden in a game box. On day 2908, Wolfgang brings Natasha to the living room to cut a cake for her 18th birthday. He also gives her a dress as a present and forces her to dance with him. He takes her out to the garden during the day to help out, but their neighbor spots them. Unfortunately, Natasha does not get the courage to ask for help, and she curses at herself later for missing the opportunity. On day 3096, she serves lunch for Wolfgang, and this time, she has learned to do everything the way he wants it. He tells her they need some money and that he plans to sell the van so he needs her help to clean it. He comes back to continue harassing Natasha, but his phone rings and he goes inside, since he can't hear from the vacuum. She finally musters the courage and escapes through the half-open gate entrance and runs until she finally finds a house with a person inside. She asks an old woman for help and to call the police. Meanwhile, Wolfgang sees the empty van and realizes what just happened. Police arrive and soon learn that she is the real Natasha Campush that disappeared eight years ago. They phone her mother. Brigitte to inform her of the news and soon reunite Natasha with her parents. We learn that Wolfgang, knowing that he might be arrested at any moment, has laid down in front of a moving train on a railway. In the final scene, Natasha remembers telling Wolfgang that only one of them can survive.